the Royals own me. Um, Harry owes me. Uh, Megan owes me. Uh, what I've been through, I should be rewarded for. Meghan Markle's estranged father, Thomas Markle, speaking out in the new documentary, Thomas Markle, My Story. The 75-year-old sat down with Britain's Channel 5 in October, participating in a series of interviews over six days. Six. Now, E.T. is bringing you his biggest revelations from the documentary, starting with this, why Thomas says he staged paparazzi photos before Meghan's 2018 wedding to Prince Harry. Every paper seemed to want to make me look like a dumb, fat slob. I got approached by uh, a guy named Jeff Rainer, who spoke to me and said, I can change your image, he said. The idea was that these would all be candid shots, discreet, no one would know they were posed or anything. They, it would be just me doing my routine daily. I was feeling that this was very hokey and hammy, but he keeps saying, you gotta trust me. Thomas says he didn't do it for the money, even though he's still getting paid. I didn't do it for money. I did this to change my image. You must still be making money off the use of the pictures. Absolutely. Um, because those pictures will sell forever. And now the Markle patriarch says he's willing to do anything to exploit the royals and make a dime, including getting paid to do this documentary. I don't care. I mean, at, at this point, they owe me. Um, the royals own me. My daughter told me that when I reach my senior years, she'll take care of me. I'm in my senior years now. I'm 75 years old, so it's time to look after daddy. And now for a few of our favorite one-offs, like Thomas admitting how he really felt about Prince Charles walking his daughter down the aisle on her wedding day. I was jealous of him. I really you know, wanted to do that. Um, I'll admit that I cried a little bit about that. He also reveals how he's repeatedly tried to get Meghan to talk to him again. My deal was that I'd talk and do something and wait 30 days to get a response from Meghan Harry. If it didn't get, if it didn't get a response, I'd try it again. Thomas even explains why he published the letter Meghan wrote him after her wedding in August 2018, the same letter she and Harry are now suing British tabloids over. People magazine had an article by quote unquote friends of Meghan. In this article, the friends of Meghan were saying that she wrote a conciliatory uh, letter to me. She was reaching out to me and trying to be, make peace with me. Uh, and she was being lo loving. They dissed me, calling me a liar. It seemed to me like it was set up. I felt I had to defend myself. So I published part of the letter. Thomas also reveals what he thought the first time he saw images of Archie. The first time I saw pictures was when Harry carried him outside for the first time. I saw this much of Archie. So just that much arch. I hope he has my nose because uh, then every time they see Archie, they're going to see me. Oh, and here's this interesting side note. Thomas talks about the weirdest Sussex memorabilia he's seen. Yeah, they're on everything. I'm, you know, uh, I, 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 I actually heard that they're on a pack of condoms, so I, uh, <laughs> um, I don't know if that's true or not. Meghan's finances are one final conversation worth mentioning. While the Duchess of Sussex claims she paid her way through college at Northwestern University, Thomas claims that's simply not true. I paid for a college uh, and I, it took me years to get it paid off. To hear you know, that I'm ghosted and I don't exist and she did this on her own is very hurtful. As for whether Thomas thinks he'll ever talk to or see Megan again. The last time they might see me is being loaded into the ground. I, I don't think at this point they're thrilled to see me or want to talk to me.